MSNBC contributor and Republican strategist Steve Schmidt. Um, do you trust, Steve, that the president and his staff have thought through what they're doing as they are now juggling uh, three incredibly difficult issues, North Korea, Iran, and Israel, as we saw today? Of course not, Chris. It's all about U.S. domestic politics. Everything we will see Donald Trump do from now until the midterms to try to stave off a disastrous midterm election defeat is try to intensify support in his base through policies of incitement. And so when we saw the two theocratic nutjob preachers at the crossroads of civilization and religion be able to antagonize Judaism, Catholicism, Islam, and Mormonism all in the same day because of their previous bigoted pronouncements, their extreme ideology. This is not about making the Middle East more secure. It's not about making the United States more secure. It's not about making sure that we don't have yet another generation of American kids dying in Middle Eastern wars. It's all about Donald Trump being able to score a point, ephemeral though it may be in the news cycle, and to position himself for the midterm elections. It's clear as day that he has no sense of history. He's completely ignorant of the religions and the region. Do you think that he could tell you the origins of the Sunni Shia schism? I suspect not. He knows nothing about anything. He's bumbling around and he destabilized with this rash move, the Middle East. And as I said, when he announced the move to the embassy, I said there will be blood on his hands, not because he pulled the trigger, but because he destabilized the region with not having any clue about what he was doing. And that goes for Jared Kushner as well. I, I want to just, uh, you mentioned uh, uh, Robert Jeffress, who is one of the pastors who gave an invocation today. This is what Mitt Romney had to say right. about him. Robert Jeffress says, you can't be saved by being a Jew. And Mormonism is a heresy from, heresy from the pit of hell. He said the same about Islam. Such a religious bigot should not be giving the prayer that opens the U.S. embassy in Jerusalem. John Hagee also giving an invocation today. So you think this really is... A, a, a entirely domestic political management of, his, of the Trump base. Of course it is. It, it is an appalling disgrace that these two were allowed to open in prayer under the flag of the United States, an official U.S. government event, given their mountains of bigotry, their anti-Catholicism, anti-Judaism, anti-Islam, anti-Mormonism. We don't talk about who these people are enough, so let's do it for a moment. Jerry Falwell, Franklin Graham, Mike Huckabee, all of them, they dress up as men of God, but they are not. They are in business, and they are in politics. And the type of politics that they advocate is an extreme and theocratically tinged politics. You see that they thirst for the nectar of political power the gospel is secondary. When you look at their explications of Donald Trump from all sorts of behavior that they previously condemned, it's for expedient partisan political purposes. One of the things that is certainly true about this movement, wherever you look around the world and you see the fusion of the state with religion, whether it is Putin and the Orthodox Church complicit in his power, or other places around the world. The ideology advanced and represented by Hagee et al. always veers towards the autocratic. Hmm. It's always less free. It's always dominated by an extreme animus towards gays. There are people who would much rather tell you how to live and what birth control that you're allowed to take, for example, if you're a young woman, than would ever dare to say what is so obviously true about conduct by this president that is so obviously wrong. These are the modern day Pharisees in the temple. They are hypocrites. And one of the blessings of Roy Moore's candidacy is we know who they are and no one in this country ever has to pretend again when they hold up a cloak and say, you're attacking my religion to do anything but laugh out loud. They're politicians and extreme ones at that. All right, Steve Schmidt, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I appreciate it.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.